What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. That's right, you guys, and no snap is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Monday. Hopefully everyone had a wonderful weekend. I know I did. Hopefully everyone's ready for another good day of The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. But let's check this out, shall we? Nothing interesting here. Oh, nothing interesting here. It's just a bathtub. Sorry, Geralt, you can't use it today. What the hell is that? Some Han fiber. I actually need some of those. Are there just a bunch all through here? Because I'm about to just take a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there are. Look at all these plants. Sorry, Siggy. I'm going to just go ahead and take all of your uh, your plants. I need a bunch of Han fiber for, <laughs> for a couple different recipes. All right. Let's see. What else do we have over here in this pool? Uh, is that blood or oil? Kind of looks like oil. Or is that just a, a weird texture? <laughs> that might be a weird texture. Something floating on the surface. Oh, it was oil. Oil looks like. Hmm. Perhaps this was the one that they used. Silver lid matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Uh oh. Extra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pull four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Uh, Happen's not a suspect? What about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes. Ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters. Spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once, too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Okay. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain. Meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman. Josef Schweik, brewer. And Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible why? Impossible. Why? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral, but I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuben. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Sounds like there's another doctor. No, he merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel, you saw an impersonator. Think for once, they scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. <laughs> hey, be nice to happen. Gotta ask me nicely. I'm not one of your delivery boys. Pardon my tone. I've grown accustomed to ordering folk around and barking as I do it. Mm -hmm. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Ask nicely, you dick. Okay. He doesn't need to be so mean to happen. Happen seems like a nice guy. It's basically just Lord Varus. I mean, he is a eunuch, so... Uh, okay. So now, let's just go ahead and pluck the rest of these little plants right there. <laughs> I'm just stealing the plants from the, uh, the bathhouse. You know how it is. There's more in there, but I don't need them right now. I can always come back and get them. I don't want to, you know, drain my stash right now. Alright. Mm, but yeah, so we're picking up right where we left off. Right with, um, Siggy Reuven or Digstra, whichever one you want to call him. Uh, and we are... Trying to investigate who the hell and what the hell dropped the bomb down into the uh, the drain and then stole all the stuff from Dijkstra. Now, I kind of like the character Dijkstra. I've been told not to, as I think, you know, most people say he's kind of a double-crosser, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna betray you, or he's, you know, he's a no-good person. But so far, he's not really done a whole lot to me, to me personally, um, to warrant any of that suspicion, but we'll see. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lion made some interesting friends. That he did. Alright. In we go. Let's see. Any stuff to loot? 
So it would seem. I'm sure they won't be needing any more of this stuff if they're dead. Even though that's awful. Alright, let's see. There was something right here. Mm -hmm. The plot begins to thicken. Can I loot that? Thank you. Oh, good. All that for a vial. Oh, footsteps. Hmm. Okay, so there was certainly someone here, and recently, too. Those footprints would have just kind of not been there. Anything else over there? Okay. Now, who could have done this? If this person really was dead, that means possibly a Doppler is impersonating them. Which, if that's the case, that's going to be really, really cool. Casket dried fruit. Meteorite ingot. Who just has a meteorite ingot? A letter. Ooh. And a the wine from your birth year. It's simply brilliant. Starting, startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. With love from D. Dandelion, possibly? From your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Hmm. Solve the riddle from the mysterious note. Okay. Uh, well, there's a secret door right there. I can see that highlighted. There's also something to loot right there. So we need to enter in something either... Siri's birthday or Dandelion's birthday? I would imagine it would have been Siri's birthday as a gift from Dandelion, because Dandelion was the one that was planning the heist in the first place. Place bottle and slot for 1251 vintage. Bet you that opened the door. Cool. <laughs> That's kind of neat. And what do you know? The back door opened. What do we have so in here? Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stand and up. did other things. Wyvern oil. Uh oh. All right, more loot. The Wild Hunt. Already read that book though. That's a very strange-looking bed cover you got there, Dandelion. Alright, go ahead and read that. There we go. Sedarian Cavalry Armor, and of course, I'm now too fat. Perfect. Alright, there's something there, too. This is where they built the bomb, Sugar. for sure. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Mm-hmm. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Yep. Signed by one Kelkstain. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's um, the most proof that you need there, Geralt. Though you're literally standing over where they built the bomb. They were not very clean about it either. Oh, there's one more thing there. Letter from Dudu. Uh-oh. He's the Doppler. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Rut row. Check what's going on downstairs. Okay, well, first we need to drop something that's, uh, that's too heavy. We've got all these damn weapons up here. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop some of this stuff. How do I drop again? Drop. We'll just drop all this regular stuff. It wouldn't fetch us too much money anyways. I know money is money, but it wouldn't get us much anyways. All right. What's going on downstairs? Who decided to come home? Who decided to come back from the dead? Oh, it's Deekstra. Tris. Shit, what's Triss doing here? Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth. Her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my bouche lairoise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? 
What was that French word? <laughs> Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. You don't trust me? Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. <laughs> Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Okay. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Melagor. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Marguerite Henkel told me everything, but sh they didn't. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Mm-hmm. All right, I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. <laughs> Trade secret. <laughs> You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfka. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Uh, let's see, while you sit here twiddling your thumbs? Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Mega. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Okay. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Triss and I, that's all in the past. I don't want to s oh god. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Take the apple out of your throat there, Dijkstra, when you but talk. Correct him. Say that we, you know. Dijkstra doesn't need to know everything. You didn't say anything either. Could have corrected him yourself. It's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the hunter's barracks together. All right. See you then. Thanks. Oh. These two would be cute together. I don't know about Yennefer. I think these two would look way better together than him and Yennefer. I'm not sure, though. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Okay. Meet Trace at the Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor around midnight. Well, we're going to do that, but first, we're actually going to take a look at the other quest that we have, which is Get Junior. So, let's see. Find Horse and Junior's hideout, play cards with the casino's guests, talk to Dietro Dijkstra about Horson's tie to the Redanians. Uh, so that one right now doesn't pop up, it looks like, but this one does. Find Horse and Junior's hideout. So, let's go ahead and run on over there. I'm just curious to see what the hell we can do with this. Because I'm really, really digging this quest. Both of these quest lines with Dandelion and, and Dijkstra, and now Triss, and uh, Siri and Horson and everybody like that, it's all so interwoven, and I love it. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of intrigue in it. Like I said that I wanted in the big city in this game. Pretty sure that was a few episodes ago. I said, you know, I wanted something like the, you know, the really cool quests in the cities with all the political intrigue and thievery and everything like that. Just kind of a neat quest. Um, but I'm kind of curious to see how everything f plays out, honestly. Because it seems to me like there are a plethora of ways, or a plethora of ways this pl this quest could potentially go. And I think that's a really cool feature of this game. But let's see, we're almost there. And uh, then we'll check and see what this... God, that's such a pretty skyline. Look at that. Look at, look at the size of this city. It's massive. Alright, but let's see. Cleaver's Hench Dwarf and Cleaver's Hench Dwarf. Wonderful. Alright, Cleaver. Search Horson Jr.'s hideout using your Witcher senses. Okay, so it would seem uh, Cleaver came through. Which is good, because I know he said he wanted to. But I don't think he got Horson. Alright, let's see. Ooh, what do we got right here? Come on, can I investigate it, please? Dwarves there we go. Thorough as debt collectors. Mm -hmm. Didn't leave a scrap. Sounds about right. Got some water. <laughs> Wonderful. Another little thing right here. Another dwarven spirit. Nice. It's a mighty fine axe you got there, Cleaver's hench dwarf. Yep, that's me. I'm Geralt of Riv, or whatever you just said. Alright, what else do we have here? Lots of clothing? Are they just gonna burn all this? Nothing interesting here. Mm-hmm. Anything wow, they just butchered all of these guys, dude. Holy crap. Place has been scrubbed clean. Hmm. It seems as if we it seems as if there was actually nothing here. Looks like the dwarves did everything. I mean, I suppose I'm grateful, but at the same time, this leads me nowhere. Which means my last two options are to go play cards with the casino guests, try and find something there, or go talk with Dijkstra about his tie to the Redanians. Yeah, because there's nothing else up here. Hmm. Okay, then. So this was a lost cause. That's fine. Thank you, dwarves, for taking care of it. Just wish you hadn't scrubbed it so clean. Hmm, or whatever happened. Alright, so let's see. Talk to Dijkstra about Horson's ties to the Redanians. Where does it have me going to where Dijkstra is at? Because that's the thing. I don't think he's available to talk to at the moment. No, because those are the three people to talk to. No, okay. Uh, Alright, let's see. So that led nowhere. Then I suppose we go to Count Reuven's treasure. So we need to go back to the uh, the harbor. So I will meet you guys there. Alright, let's see. I believe I'll probably just have to sit here and wait for a little while. Meet Triss at the Eternal Shrine near the harbor around midnight. Okay, so it's currently 5.34pm. Uh, if we go ahead and do that. I'm going to wait till 11. And let's see. Alright, so it actually probably wants midnight, now that I think about it. <clears throat> yep, it wanted exactly midnight. Okay. That makes it easy. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. 
What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. <laughs> uh, Triss, you sure about this? Here and now? Uh, Triss, <clears throat> sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series 2. No such thing. Too risky. You really want to do this? All right. <clears throat> Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Okay. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. Aww. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. <laughs> okay. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Okay. So we need to shackle her up a little bit and take her in to present her. Hmm. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. I can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Want to talk to Menge? Not so fast. I hand her over to Menge himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Got something to offer, Menge. Might know your witches, but you're shit at catching them. You're not gonna do any ripping. Yeah, you might know how to handle witches. When they're brought to you in chains. What's that supposed to mean? That you're crap witch hunters if a witcher's gotta do your hunting for you. Listen here, mutant. Since we entered this town, we've made ashes of over a hundred mages, alchemists, dopplers, and other vermin. So don't you be telling us how to do our jobs, got it? Actually, think I could tell you a thing or two. It's not just Marigold. I've also tracked down Philippa Eilhart. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore. And you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? I'll tell your boss, no one else. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. 
Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. I thought I handled that pretty well. Maybe. Alright, follow the witch hunter leader. Cool fortress. Kind of. Alright. <laughs> Burned all the easy to find witches already. Jesus, criminy. Also, sorry it's a little bit dark in here, guys. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Uh, let's... I've had enough of this shit. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin. And Marigold will get what she deserves. No torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. Damn Skippy. The horseman's casting spells. Get him! Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to do that. Why did I do that? I obviously, would have, they would have been able to see that. Son of a bitch. Oh, I fucked that whole thing up, didn't I? I fucked that whole thing up, didn't I? Oi, they are just fucking me up, aren't they? Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. I could go back and reload the save, but I gotta live with my consequences. Gots to live with my consequences. Sorry if that was not the ending that you wanted for that, guys. Damn it, it was too good to be true. That makes me so angry with myself. Oh my god. Let's hope we can still catch Menga, though. We'll probably just have to chase his ass out of here. Fuck off, dude. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, there's Menge right there. Oh, I have to kill him? I can't even get information out of him? Oh, fuck. This could be problematic. Okay, let's go kill Caleb Menga, I suppose. Uh, shit, dude. Alright, someone let me know what would have what would have happened if I had not tried to kill Menga. Please? If you'd be so kind. Although, I gotta say, we'll be quite satisfying killing this guy. He's like the lead witch hunter, isn't he? So, I mean, I'm fine with that. That means less witches in pain. Can I talk to him now? No, that's gonna be a hard no. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take that magic sword, and then let's just loot his fucking office if I can. If I kill them, I'm gonna take his shit. Okay, but now I'm also very fat, unfortunately. Oh, who's this? Come to say hello, witch, uh, witch, witch torturer, huh? Oh, you're dead, are you? Okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, we are indeed at the end of today's episode right here, but let me know how you would have handled that differently. Would you not have casted the spell? Because I shouldn't have. Um, but let me know what you guys would have done, and we will see you in the next video.